Hey guys, my name is Chaotic and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 best cars to sell on GTA 5 Online. Now please bear in mind the 5 vehicles which are going to be displayed in this video are vehicles which you can find around the map of Los Santos. These are not vehicles which you have to purchase to then sell to the Los Santos Customs. These are vehicles which you can find around the map, take to the Los Santos Customs and then sell them to make some quick cash. So anyway guys, let's get straight into this video and start off with the best selling car. Now surprisingly, the best selling car is the Vapid Peyote, however there is a specific model which you have to search for and there are two spawn locations where you can find this car at. The best location however is the location which I am currently at and I will be showing you in just a few moments time on the map where you can find this car at. Now the reason why this car is the best selling car is because this is owned by a gang and has already been highly modified for you. What you simply want to do is make your way to this location and hopefully when you do come to this location you will find this yellow Vapid Peyote just parked in the parking lot. Now get into it and you want to very quickly drive away otherwise what you will find when the gang shoots you they will take you out very quickly as there is quite a few people shooting at you as soon as you try to steal this car. This car is extremely easy to get a hold of, however sometimes what you may find when you make your way to that parking lot, the car itself may not be there. Now do not worry if this is the case, simply get into your car, drive down the road and turn around, and hopefully when you make your way back to the parking lot, the car will be there waiting for you. So moving on to the most important part of this video, and that is of course the amount that this car sells for at the Los Santos Customs. Now as previously mentioned, this is the best car to sell at the Los Santos Customs, because it sells for a total of $12,940, which is a decent amount for a car which you can just find around the map of Los Santos, and then take into the Los Santos Customs to sell, to make yourself some quick cash. Now unfortunately you can't keep selling these to the Los Santos Customs over and over again like some form of money glitch, but one thing which you can do, because this car spawns in so regularly and so easily, what you can do is put a few of these inside your garage and every now and again when you desperately need some money, you can sell one of these and get yourself some cash. Another car which is also quite good to sell at the Los Santos Customs is the Albany Buccaneer and that's simply because it also has quite a high selling value. Now you can usually find this car driving up and down this road in this sort of area anytime after 8pm. The best time to find this car is at night but as long as you make your way to this sort of area anytime after 8pm it is quite an easy car to find. Now as far as I'm aware this is the second best car in GTA 5 to sell to the Los Santos Customs to make yourself some money. This car sells for a total of $9,875, which is a decent amount of money for what the car is. I cannot say that I am a fan of this car, I definitely wouldn't put this car inside my own garage, but it's definitely something which I would look for if I desperately need to make some cash on GTA 5, because it does sell for a decent amount. Moving on to the next car which I'm going to be displaying in this video, and I'm confident that everyone will know this car and recognise this car as the Ubermacht Sentinel. Now please bear in mind this is the convertible version, not the hardtop version, because the convertible version of this car does sell for a lot more money at the Los Santos Customs. The standard hardtop version of the Sentinel only sells for $6,500 at the Los Santos Customs, whereas the convertible version sells for $9,500, which is considerably more. Although this car doesn't have a specific spawn location, I would say this car is the easiest to find out of all the other cars displayed in this video. Now the next car being displayed in this video is known as the Felon GT. Now this car doesn't have a specific spawn location either, just like the Sentinel, but please bear in mind that this is the convertible version, not the hardtop version. Although the hardtop version does sell for a decent amount at a rate of $9,000, it's in fact the convertible version that sells for slightly more at a rate of $9,500, and remember that $500 extra is always helpful. Last but not least, we have the 5th best vehicle to sell at the Los Santos Customs on GTA 5. Now this car of course is the Galavanta Bola, and just like the previous two cars, there is no specific spawn location for this car, it's usually quite easy to find as it drives about just about everywhere around the map of Los Santos. The Galavanta Bola sells for the exact same amount that the standard hardtop version of the Felon GT would sell for, that is of course a grand total of $9,000, which is again a decent amount to sell a car for, especially when you've done nothing for it, but steal it from someone else. So there you have it guys, those 5 vehicles were the best cars to sell at the Los Santos Customs on GTA 5. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, if you guys could just take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button it would help me out a lot and it would be greatly appreciated. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video and tell me what you thought and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already I recommend that you do because I upload all the latest 
and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.